Welcome back to part two of our Sherwin-Williams Automotive Refinishing Virtual Field Trip. Today you're going to meet three people that are working in three different aspects of automotive refinishing. First up is a world-renowned custom painter and founder of the House of Colors Automotive Refinishes product line, John Kosmoski. What advice do you have for these newcomers and how do they get on the right path, right? Right, I think it all starts with gun handling. You know, learning your equipment, how to keep it clean, how to, how to handle it, how to, how to engineer an object, you know, so that you're putting the paint on evenly. I always tell young painters, if they put a run in something and you want to know the reason for it, get to the nearest mirror. <laughs> because the reason for it is looking back at you. You did something wrong, you converged the past. In other words, you didn't, in your mind's eye, engineer how you were going to paint that object. You have to know the width of the pattern. You have to know your increment of overlap. You have to make sure your gun is adjusted and clean and working the way it should be. But where does it all start? It all starts by making mistakes. We all make mistakes. I don't care how long you've been in the business, you're going to make mistakes. Don't let that stop you. You have to have a passion for quality. And once you learn to do something and paint something that turns out beautiful, it'll swell your chest because you'll say, my God, I did that. You know, so I mean, the idea to keep working towards perfection. We all know there is no true perfection, but there are degrees towards perfection and you always want to work towards that. But I mean, to complete a whole paint job, where does it begin? At the foundation. If you're not putting the right primer on, if you're not preparing your substrate properly, nothing you do over the top of it is going to be anything. So, I mean, it sounds complicated, but it's not. If you really put your heart into it and you want to learn it, it starts from the base, you work up, you try not to intermix different companies' products, because that's Russian roulette. You, you, and I've had painters say to me, well, I've done that for years and got away with it. I said, oh, well, you hit a loaded chamber, huh? <laughs> and the thing went off and now the job is bad and you want me to do something about it and I'm sandwiched in the middle with two other gun companies. Sure. I'm not standing behind it. Right. If you want any kind of a warranty or any kind of support from your jobber and your dealer and your paint manufacturers, stick with a system. Sure. But how long, realistically, if someone really concentrates, if somebody really focuses on the trade, how long before somebody could expect to be able to take on a, a full car in the automotive refinishes industry? Well, you know, it varies with individuals, but to err is human. I mean, you can expect that there's going to be, when you're trying to hit the high level of perfection, you're going to have more chances for error. But you begin by just the training. You know, you got to start painting. And people say to me, where do I begin? Well, I said, well, a nice place is motorcycle parts because they're complicated. I mean, you got a gas tank that's heavy in the front and narrows down at the bottom, and you see guys going back and forth the whole way. Well, how can you, that's not right. That's going to put more paint at the back of that tank than at the front of that tank. You have to engineer the tank. For, so what I do is where the tank is wide and it tapers, you do the bottom band and you go to where the taper is. And you stop at the taper and then make a line down the taper. And now you've got a top that's tapered like that. You start here and then you go down in other words, it's common sense sure. to engineer that object and put the paint on evenly. And, and if you don't adjust your paint gun, and I don't mean by using the fan, because most paint guns you can reduce the material and reduce the fan size by bringing in the material knob. Don't touch the fan. And you want a pattern on a motorcycle for a candy job, I say you want a four inch pattern, four inches from the gun, and you're gonna do a one inch increment. So you're going to move one inch each pass you make. On a car, you got a six inch pattern and you're going to do a two inch increment when you're, when you're spraying the caddies. So 50, 50, they always say a 50% pattern overlap, but yes, that works on metallic, that works on primers, it doesn't work on pearls and candies. You have to tighten that increment up or you're going to put stripes in it because every pattern has a bow to it and it's heavy in the middle. So if you're taking too large an increment, you're going to have that stripe coming through uh, that's going to stripe the job. So, I mean, a lot of it is common sense, and a lot of it is by making the mistakes and learning by your mistakes. You don't have to be a painter to be involved in this industry. Next up is a territory manager that we work with almost every single day, Tom Clyde. 
My name is uh, Tom Clyde and I work for Sherwin-Williams Automotive. Today my responsibilities are working for Sherwin-Williams Automotive and as a territory manager. Uh, I have a good sized territory, about a third of the state of Florida, and I uh, service many jobbers, uh, independent jobbers. I work with uh, the Napa stores uh, representing our Martin Senior products. Uh, so I get to support my distributors and work with them calling on body shops and helping sell the products that we support and showing how they're used. So at Sherwin-Williams, uh, we touch many, many industries. Obviously, I work in the automotive uh, industry and that involves some industrial s stuff, but I have counterparts that work in the aerospace industry, that work in the marine industry, uh, the woods and coatings. Uh, there's a lot of different ways that you can find a good job in selling refinished products in many, many different industries. Uh, there's many opportunities in the automotive industry from being a technician in a shop, whether it's on the body, body side um, or on the paint side. The, you can also be an estimator uh, a body shop manager, a body shop owner. Uh, on the distribution side, you can be a sales rep, a tech rep, uh, own your own distribution. Um, and then on the manufacturer side, you can go to work for a manufacturer and represent the products and work in the industry that way. So one of the biggest challenges that we face in our industry is technicians. Uh, every body shop is looking for technicians and so if you have the opportunity to go to a trade school and learn the trade there's a great opportunity for you to find a job because every shop I go to is always asking me for new technicians. So looking back when I was in high school uh, I had no idea honestly what I wanted to be. Uh, if I could go back and knew that I was going to be in this industry, I certainly would pursue the opportunities of, of uh, going to Votech, uh, learning the trade, uh, because it's obviously easy to sell something that you believe in. So if you have a passion for cars, uh, for repairing cars, for painting cars, those kind of things, and you have the opportunity to go to a Votech and learn those basic uh, skills, either you're going to use them and physically do the work, or if you go into an, an opportunity like I've had and go into sales, just having the knowledge of those basics is, is going to help you and to go a long ways with it. Lastly, we have the future of the automotive refinishes industry, Nicole Turner. What's special about her is she's the first ever Blazing Trails scholarship recipient. My name is Nicole Turner. I am the first Blazing Trails scholarship recipient. I am 28 years old. I, what got me into liking paint, I have my bachelor's in fine arts and I really wanted to paint motorcycles because I'm a certified Harley mechanic also. Um, so I wanted to combine my art experience and my love of motorcycles together, but the more I learned, the more I just like to paint. I would like to do more custom stuff, but it depends on where and what. I mean, I'm open to really anything. I'm just excited to start a career. Lake Tech has a great hands-on program, which it's right in my backyard. I have worked on a couple customer cars, but it's nice to get the feedback from the customer too, which you probably don't get in a, if you're just working on the cars at the school all day, because somebody's gonna take that car and drive it away, which is nice. My instructors and the, even like all the other people at the school, they want to see you succeed, which is an awesome thing. They're not just there to, maybe collect a paycheck like some other people are in places, but they want to see what you're doing and why you're doing it and how to help you be better, which is awesome. And then even if you're just working in a shop, 
you, you're with the car, the car goes away, but when the students go away, we're gonna go out into the world and with what the instructors taught us. And everybody who is doing it every day is inspiring to me, the people that just does what they do every day. Um, especially the women in the industry who do it too, you know, if they could do it, I can do it. This is inspiring. I spent a lot of time hammering on it and trying to bend it, <laughs> but we come pretty far. So I cut it with the plasma cutter and tried to relieve a little bit of that stress and it's starting to take shape. It looks pretty good. Spending the time to develop the skills and knowledge, a lot of people today don't want to do that. They just want to jump in and, and go and they're not really open to learning all the things they need to learn. I'm so excited about my new Awada guns and I can't wait to use them. This scholarship is an amazing thing that's happened to me and I can't thank you enough. <laughs> thank you so much. Congrats to Nicole to being our very first Blazing Trails scholarship recipient. For more information, follow the link below. Thank you so much to Sherwin-Williams in Awada for supporting and sponsoring these future trailblazers to be able to go out there and achieve their dreams. We hope you enjoyed this edition of the Blazing Trails virtual field trip. We will see you next time. <laughs>